everybody, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is In 3 Reviews, just checking it out again. Tonight I'm gonna be doing some mastermind creations, so I'm just hanging out here with some of my friends. You know who they are. And just show these off right real quick. This is a mastermind creation. You get your Star Scream, your Thundercracker, and your Skywarp, along with your uh, Shockwave. These are really good figures. I'm gonna take some pictures of them just to you know, put them up right here real quick so check them out. Um, they're great. Um, their paint is good, all their little uh, details and the machine guns and all that kind of stuff. I like Mastermind Creations. I think they did really well. Excuse me. Got to start it off right. Now, like I said, um, tonight I just did this for uh, Mastermind Creations because I did go to uh, the Chosen Prime and I did pick up a Hellion figure which is Cliff Jumper. And so what I'm gonna do with him tonight is I'm gonna open him up, I'm gonna transform him off camera as many times as it takes me to get it right and move these to the side. This is my daughter, Maisie. Pull the chair, girl. Hold up. She loves me. So I'll be back. She said she'll be back. Oh, and I did want to show you this guy right here. Now I got this guy uh, to go with these guys right here. And he was like, there's a 500 limited edition. And so I picked him up. He was literally 70 bucks. And he, he, he's really uh, bland. There's no paint on him at all, but it looks really good. He comes with all of their guns. So I'm gonna set him off the side. This guy right here is probably my favorite Mastermind Creations uh, figure. It's Turmoil. Now this guy, he, he is hard to get. Um, I did pick him up. I, I didn't like the Spartan figure. I did like this one way more. And this one right here, uh, man, I, I bought it for 200 bucks. And uh, it's just from seeing the, the alt mode is the uh, the tank. And it looks like that um, just something from a video game or something, you know, I like it a lot. It's um, it's small, it's chunky, and uh, he looks really good. It's good. If, if I was a robot, I'd probably be this guy right here. Mastermind Creations, they really good with this figure. He's, he's my favorite Mastermind so far. Okay, so now, like I said, uh, this is Chosen Prime. Chosen Prime is in Mesa, Arizona. Now, oh my God, you know what I did do? Was I pre-ordered. Um, now I've got Jetfire already, Fan Toys Jetfire, and he's, he's badass, uh, perfect. In, in every way, he's perfect. And so when I saw today, they just came out on my email that I had a, uh, uh, you can get a pre-order of him. Um, they're only doing a thousand pieces of him. I was like, dude, get that before it's too late. And so I did, I pre-ordered him. He's not gonna be out till January, 2019. Come here, man. Oh, and she brought her friend. Now, her friend is Bean. It is a ball python. And uh, she's had him for about a month now. And he's already doubled in size. He's pretty big. He looks good. And uh, he fit, he's, a lot of people are afraid of snakes, but he, he's, he's great. He's a good thing if you guys are looking at like getting a, a reptile. Anyway, it's gonna be okay. Oh man, I had no idea. That's tiny. Set this off to the side. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Coming right out of the box. And you got him in this packaging right here. Man, he's little. Macy, how's school today? Boring. She loves school. Okay, now, like I said, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna transform this guy over and over and over and over and over until I get him 100% fluent, and then I can do it in front of you guys to show you. So, uh, wish me luck. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys, look. I started this at 7.45 and I just yelled out what time was it, and it's 8.55. One hour went by to transform him into robot and then back into car. Fucking hour? All right, so now it's 9.15. So that went from 8.55 to 9.15. I got him in his car mode. That was um, a good half hour. Okay, so that was seven minutes. Now, I'm getting faster and faster. I only did it three times. The first time took me an hour, then it took me 30 minutes, then it took me seven minutes or whatever. But um, uh, I'm getting better and better. It, it is hard. I got a lot of uh, props to the guys who do this kind of thing. It's crazy. These things are crazy. All right, everybody. So this is the PSO9 Hellion Warrior, AKA Cliff Jumper. Now he um, is from Ocular Max, the Perfection series from Mastermind Creations. Now Mastermind Creations is really good in my opinion. That they've got some really good figures out. Um, this guy comes with a bunch of accessories that um, you know. I'm sure if you already reviewed them or whatever, you already see what he comes with. Uh, but basically, you get these little ski things right here and plug them into the wheels like that and they go all the way around 
of course. And that's my wife vacuuming right now. If you can hear that, it doesn't really bother me. Whatever. My son went and shut the door. I fixed it. Uh, thank you, sir. And that's what he looks like with all four of them on right there. And then you get the uh, front bumper type thing, which is like, excuse me. Let me see if I got this turned around the right way yet. It just plugs in the front and you got that look going on right there. I do like the bumper, it's pretty cool. The skis I could probably do without, but that's what it looks like from a side view. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take it off. Very easy, they're pretty tight, but that's cool. Putting the uh, front bumper on there kind of looks like a ground effect kit. Get off there, sucker. What are you doing? Good, okay, take off the bumper there so i'm gonna place him right there real quick and then you got all these um, components right here your skis your front bumper uh, and then you got your alternate uh head sculpts which is that one right there i've got the original one on there right now it doesn't it's fine that one right there they all pretty look pretty much the same okay <clears throat> and then you get your bazooka right here and these little tripod things individually uh, go back if you want them to, that kind of thing. It's pretty big, whatever. And then you got your cannons right there. And this one right there. Cool, silver paint, that's nice. I'm just gonna set these off to the side like that. <clears throat> now this cliff jumper here is all red paint, all paint, uh, except for the bottom. That's a gray plastic, of course. Um, the wheels are, or the tires are rubber. That's cool, they all spin pretty good. Um, he's got the translucent blue windshield. I like that. Windows. Um, anything that doesn't look like it's tabbed together when I got it out of the box, I mean, he was tight. Everything clipped in really well. I just, I've been transforming them over and over and over, and this is what I ended up with. Everything will, if I wanted it to, squeeze it all together, but, you know, there's a bunch of these little tabs and stuff all over the place, and that's the only thing that about this thing that, that makes it semi-difficult, but he's not difficult at all. Um, in the beginning when I first pulled him out and I did a couple, um, three, the first three transformations, I kept breaking stuff off. And even when I do this right now, I'm still gonna have stuff breaking off and falling off or whatever, but you know, that's fine. It, it just goes right back into where it goes. There are the front headlights. I like him, he feels good. He's real, he's not really that light, but he's, he's pretty light. He, I think he's heavier than Masterpiece Bumblebee. This is definitely die cast right here. And look at the paint shine. Uh, they did really good. It's shiny all throughout. Now that is a 944 Porsche. I used to have the uh, 924. 924 Porsche was the poor man's Porsche. Yeah, I, it may have came out with the spoiler, like I said before, but I'm pretty sure it did. I have to look up some old pictures. Um, but these always look better because they had the flare kits on the fenders and that kind of thing. I like it, looks good. So I'm gonna set them up right there. This is the box it gets right here. Not bad. It, um, it's, it's real small. I, it's smaller than an iPhone 6. I like it pretty good. And then the ages 15 and up. Now, uh, for sure, ages 15 and up. Any 15 year old with the amount of patience and up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because if you gave this like a toy to a three or four or five year old, eight, nine, 10 year old, unless they had a lot of patience and knew exactly what they're doing, there's no way this thing won't break. It will break. You get your tech spec back here. And this thing right here just slides over this, and you could read that, and like that. All right, no big deal. There it is, the box, gonna set that off to the side. And as you all know, of course, they come with the instructions, which helped me out the whole time. I did not review this guy at, well, excuse me, I did watch a review, but on transforming him over and over and over, I did not rely on a review to stop and, uh, you know, pause the video and get to a certain point and then play it. I just went solely off of the instructions. They do really well. They, they, uh, they're thought out and they, step by step by step, I transformed them and had no problem with them. Uh, too much anyway, I did have problems with them. There, and then of course he comes with a card that uh, apparently nobody likes. I don't mind the cards at all. I don't have a binder with them all in there, you know, I'm not saving them like Yu-Gi-Oh or, um, um, you know, whatever, but uh, for what it is, it's fine. I keep them, I like them. It just goes back into the box anyway, but I don't throw them away. Okay, now just for size comparison right here, I did bring in uh, Bumblebee from Mastermind Creations from their um, Hearts of Steel series, and that's him right there. And just put him real close to him. 
that's their comparison. That's not too bad right there. Cool. And then I'll take him off to the side and I'll put in TFC's roller right here, Rollar. That's Roller right there. Um, he, he's a good figure, I like him. He's really like loose, but you know, I, he looks good. I have two of him. I put one in uh, robot mode up with Optimus Prime and the other one down in, uh, by Optimus Prime's uh, Masterpiece trailer. Looks good. And Nemesis Prime. Right there, now those look pretty good together. Those are like the same, like if you've seen this guy driving up and uh, up on the street, you know, look at it. Like this little guy right here, jumped out of the car, ran around, jumped up on the step and went in there. They're the same fucking size. Perfect. Get him out of here. Okay, so there he is right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transform in front of you guys and here he goes. So uh, and the hardest part's gonna be for me is the arms, but uh, we'll get past that. Uh, if anything falls off, uh, I'll try to you know snap it back in real quick. But okay, so right here is the front and you're just gonna grab it. You want these metal sliders right here to obviously slide all the way across and not stop midway. You have to go all the way forward. So I'm gonna do that, pulling it like this. Okay, come straight out, straight down. You start to pull the hips out, but don't pull them out yet. Grab the thighs right here and just get that extra little tug for there right there. And then you wanna split these apart, open them up. And I'm gonna split these off to get them out of the way all the way like that. This thing right here comes up, the hood. Perfect, all the way up. And then you wanna open this up and kinda of pull it away and rotate it over to the side. And then you can put the foot down in that position right here. And uh, there's the side, and then you come back to the back. And this is these are real cool parts. Uh, that's the little floor panel, this right here just rolls up on the side. This right here comes straight down. And at that point, you can put the, the wheel just flops under the underside. And then this thing comes up right there. Now there's a peg right here that I ran into. I was like trying to fucking squeeze it and I could not squeeze it. So I was like, you know what? Just leave it. It's fine. Squeeze it. Do you notice my hands, by the way? I can't be a hand model. Is that right? What they call them is uh, mechanics hands and uh, they're done. My hands are just screwed up. So if you're like, oh, look at the guy's hands. Yeah, they're a guy's hands. You call them man's hands over here. Anyway, that goes like that. And then this side over here, same thing. You want to lift this up right here and rotate this off to the side, just like that. Super simple, everything's going really smooth now in the beginning. This thing was tight and I was afraid to break every, and I might break every little thing, but once you transform it a couple times, don't worry about it, everything gets really loose, but not loose to where it's like flopping around or nothing like that. So see, there's that peg again, I can't do that. Anyway, there's that right there. And the legs are pretty much done. What you wanna do is pull the hips down, just go like that, just rotate it. So that's a pretty good ab crunch too, if you guys uh, figure that out. And then this just rolls down like that. And legs can stay pretty much however you want them. So that's him right there. All right, I'm gonna stand the camera up just a little bit. All right, now <clears throat> the doors right here, they do open. And what you wanna do is you wanna fold the doors all the way up like that, bring them down, fold them up. And then inside of here, you can see these, this little thing right here and this little thing right here, you wanna pull the doors, hold everything together, the window to the door because they will fall off of this long skinny pin right here. So I grab everything tight and I'm just trying to pull those pegs out. Let's see, there's the, see how that came apart right there? So you gotta put it back in so it, gets all lined up. And that's the only thing I like about this thing was that was so finicky in the beginning. I was like, no man, that sucks. But it's really not that bad once you hold everything together. So they just pull out. And then you could um, set them down off to the side. Eventually you're gonna fold them up into this area right here. Okay, so that's that right there. And then what you do is you're gonna come to the back side right here, excuse me, the top, and you can break this away right here. The um, back trunk will break away like that and that exposes his head but you flip that back right there and then you want to get the uh, arms on the back side and you want to pull them away now something i didn't show you was check that out now those are the seats now the seats are his hands and i thought that was super clever that they did that look at that that's his hand right there the brown leather you know and then you got the the seat for the high back and then you got the steering wheel. Sorry, I didn't show that off a second ago, but there's a steering wheel right there when you roll it up, you know, it, it went right in place. And look at this gear shifter, can you see that? He's got a gear shifter. It kind of reminds me of the alternators, but far superior to alternators. Um, anyway, there's another seat there. Look at that, there's a little cab in there, that's tight. They did really good with that. I thought that was clever as heck. Anyway, coming back to the back, 
open this up and these flip up like that to get the seats out of the way and once you do that this is the finicky part and all these little pieces in here all these little hinges they're super finicky and they're just little tiny balls that fit into a little groove and they will pop out if you put too much stress i did have big difficulty with that last night but i, I got through it anyway um pulling these you just pull that out and all the way in once you do that you will put automatically pushes the tire in same thing you're just going to rotate these out like that and then what you're going to do and now that's out like that watch out for these guys right here because once you flip these doors up and ro rotate this down these will scratch the door panel so i i do leave them up like this like that okay that way they don't scratch anything now this is kind of finicky part for me now you start to rotate it down and bend it i'm gonna get the arms up at a 90 okay and uh, we'll talk about the arms the arms are hella cool I, I love them they're my favorite part of this although they're very hard they're still my favorite part um you want to slide this deal up right here uh just drop the steering wheel i'm gonna leave the steering wheel off it it'll just keep popping off so i'm just gonna set it off to the side now this right here will slide up you see that little movement right there and that little peg uh, you do want to catch it all the way to the top Okay, that's about as far as I can uh, strain it up or strain it up. Anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so coming back and do at this point want to get the doors and just kind of roll them up. Excuse me. We're gonna get leave the doors down for now, and you're gonna get this rail right here. Now the rail right here is gonna go over his face, but it will hit his face, so you want to be careful. And his face, his head will pop off. It's on a real loose uh, deal. And anyway, right there, right over his horns, and then at least they're back to that point right there, right? So that's how he looks from the side. Now you want to get the doors and shove them up in their cavity and keep the, win the windows right where you think they're going to go, and they peg right in. Very light peg, but this guy right here, you see that right there, that that white stuff? That's residue from super glue. This, this front piece, or the, excuse me, the top of his cap, kept popping off and I, it kind of worried me and I was like what the fuck am I doing wrong nothing I just got two little tiny dabs of super glue and I pushed it in and held it waited a couple minutes of course but the residue you know super glue kind of makes that faint white stuff I tried scraping it off a little bit I'll clean it up later anyway this right here is going to go in you make sure you uh, sandwich the doors up and shove that guy right in there and finish your deal right there and that's gonna put him in. Now, I'm gonna leave it a little bit crooked for now because it will get messed up anyway, and then I'll straighten it up in a little bit. But that goes in there like that. Now, once you do that, you can turn them around and you're gonna fold this down. Now, this is where down here in this area, those little pegs, remember I said to keep them up, I'm gonna resituate them so that they are, they are where they need to go right now. But <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of flip this up Back where it goes, and you're gonna roll it down. You're gonna just hear everything click into place. You hear that? that? That's good. It felt really good. There's nothing wrong with that. And then up here where those little things are rotated, see that one's pushed down a little bit, and that one's clean. I'm gonna just kind of lift it up, see if I can get something in there and pull it up. That, that's it's kind of the finicky part about these is um, getting all those little pieces up in there to where they're supposed to go. There, this thing right here pushed it right in, so that was good and it came back down. I'm gonna leave it, it's not a big problem. It's not gonna hurt anything. It still cleans up pretty good. There, <clears throat> okay. And then there's this backpack and this rail comes down. You just pop that, excuse me, rail comes back up and you just closes that gap up. I like that, that's pretty cool. And now his head's right here. And his head's, um, I like his head, that's pretty good. Okay, so now, this is the part that I came into the problem with. Now, check these out. That is gonna be his forearm, and it's just a bunch of folds. So there's nothing really I can do to tell you except for, check, watch this out, okay. The seat gets turned around to the back side, so that's his hand. Flip that around, and add, and what you do is there's a little armature right here. That right there is just gonna, you're gonna bifold this back once, and then you're going to fold it forward, and then you're going to get the seat and hold the hand in place and you're going to rotate or push that back okay now this little red deal right here that's a bottom panel under the door jam and that gets folded down under where you just put the seat there like that it doesn't clip in yet now this is the cool part this whole thing right here will just go down and boom and then it clips into place and there's his arm they did really good with that. I don't know how they figured that out. And then you can get the arm, it's upside down and just rotate it forward and you pull this down and there you go. And that's pretty cool. And see how the other side is just over here. And like I said, you just wanna get the seat, flip it around. 
Get the hand, roll it forward, hold the seat while you hold the hand and bend it back, and then get the red deal, hold it down, and then just look at it this way, excuse me, look at it this way and hold the elbow and roll it down and it clips into place and it, it's tight. Anyway, and then um, roll this back up, push it down, and there's your other arm. Now uh, that's fucking pretty good. I don't know how they figured that out. I like it a lot. Um, this guy's pretty cool. I, I don't know if his head's supposed to be like that or not. It's pretty tall. It looks like he's got a tall neck, right? I'm sure there's something that I'm doing wrong. But, you know, for now, I'm just going to leave it. You guys maybe can figure that out if you get this for yourself. Now, his hands right here, they are on... Uh, he, he can do the okay, right? Um, this and his finger does. You just want to get something that's kind of tight in there. You just go like this, and there you pull his arm out. Or his finger, excuse me, pull his finger out, and it's like that. And his thumb doesn't move. It just stays there. Um, put that up in the, there you go. So you can do that and then like that and like that. Okay, so that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is stand him up right here and look at him. Uh, he looks pretty good. I like him. Um, turn him around. Uh, look at that. I mean, he looks like, he looks like Cliff Jumper. Turn around this way. He's got his backpack. I like the way his backpack sits. Yeah, everything's flush. It looks really good there. Uh, he, it looks like he's leaning forward, but I think that's a camera. He, he does pretty good. He has no problem standing. It looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I keep saying he looks pretty good, but that's the first thing that comes to my mind. You know, uh, he looks really good. I like it. All right, so I do have Masterpiece Bumblebee right here. I'm going to put him next to him. There's Masterpiece Bumblebee. Not bad. Set him off to the side. And here is Turmoil. Turmoil is a little bit taller. And I roll the camera up just a little bit. Get him. Okay, I like turmoil. Look at that guy. Fucking sick. Take him out. And then little shockwave. Remember the shockwave from uh, Mastermind Creations? They did the um, Hearts of Steel, of course. And this is the little submarine that comes with him. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Put that down a little bit more. There we go. Uh, it looks like a little buddy, but they hate each other. Okay, take that away. And then here's your uh, average uh, beer can right there. That's how big he is next to a beer can and your average vape. That's how tall he is. So that's pretty cool. I like him. That comes off, off to the side. Okay, now just getting in here real close and looking at uh, how he does swivel at the waist. Um, a lot of you guys can do the dynamic poses. I, I can't unless I watch picture or look at pictures or whatever, the dynamic poses and all that kind of stuff. The head does look down quite a bit and look up quite a bit. That's cool. And then, you know, everything rotates. His um, bicep, or his, <laughs> his bicep rotates, you know, and uh, gets the uh, full 90 up there like that. Like he's like, you know, gonna sing in a microphone or something. I don't know what, what he would be doing, but singing. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's stupid. He could box, you know. Um, Little one, two, um, his, looking at his legs, he does do the coming all the way up. And I think all these little figures pretty much, and they make them so tiny, and they got all these little joints and stuff, they're all gonna do pretty much the same thing, you know, that kind of thing, and uh, rotating this side out and this side in, all pretty good. And then coming up for the, uh, gonna kick a football, whatever, you yeah, know, all that. Really good, really good, all the way around. Um, he is, he, he's a good guy, no problems. Um, except for the finickiness, get through it. If you're if you're gonna get this guy and start transforming, just mess with him. Mess with him. Be patient. Um, you're gonna like him. I like him. I I would totally tell you. Yeah, if you were gonna ask me, hey, would you buy that? Sure, I would definitely buy that. This guy was seventy bucks from um, Chosen Prime. Everybody's got him out now. He was on pre-order for a while, and everybody was like, oh shit, that thing's pretty cool. Uh, you know, <clears throat> there's a couple reviews of the black one out. You know. Um, this one being the red one, more closer to what Cliff Jumper should be looking like, you know, um, great. I like it. Okay. Okay, just see uh, real quick his guns over here. So this gun right here, uh, I'm just going to put it in his hand. I'm going to see how difficult it is to put it in his hand. Just see this. But there is a peg, I see that, or a, um, a tab right there. It's going to fit inside that slot. Come on, buddy. Throw those hands around. 
Um, I actually, without spending a lot of time on it, um, you could probably peg that in, but you know, whatever, he, he, he holds it. And let's see what else does he have. That other little gun, this guy right here. Oh, perfect, I got it. There you go, look at that. Now that is a good, um, feeling like a pretty good tight push. Yeah. And then with this bazooka, I haven't even messed with this bazooka yet to see. Let's see, up here. Open everything up. Okay, so, you know, as far as it goes, they're not the easiest thing to put in. I think you'd have to, like me, uh, I want to do it now, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to break his thumb. Oh, there we go, okay. There, tight, perfect. Okay, so that that went well, so now he can look up like uh, somebody up there. And so there he is, and that looks pretty good. I like it. This guy's awesome, you know, now that I play with him, I'm actually pretty glad that I did this review because, uh, you know, all my Transformers, like I said before, you know, all my Transformers that I have, I take them out of the box once, I watch a review, I transform them one time, twice maybe, and then I put them back up. Now, because you, you pretty much, if, if you transform these all the time, you're gonna screw up the paint, maybe you're gonna break something, and then you just spent, you know, 180, 250, 325 bucks on a Transformer that you just broke, and now it's no good. This guy right here, um, 70 bucks all day long. No, not bad at all. And uh, I like it. If you guys are looking for him, do it. Why not? It's not going to hurt anything. Thanks for coming. Check you guys out in a little bit. Thanks.